Hey everyone, I'm Rushlock and this is Eve Echo's Day 1 What to Do list. So when you're making your character, you'll have your choices of empires. Understand this is probably one of the most common questions I get from new players. What faction or empire should I pick? The simple answer is, it doesn't mechanically matter. Aesthetically, go with what pleases you. But mechanically, feel safe knowing you can pick anything. If you make a Kaldari character, you can fly Amarian ships and any combination in between. So once you get into the game, this is going to sound very obvious, but I want to reinforce, you want to do the tutorials. Uh, the rewards and the information you get from them are invaluable starting out. I don't mean from a, a standard, maybe video game, boring click through a bunch of text, uh, information type tutorial. The rewards are critical. Also to know about the, the tutorial, there's an advanced tutorial to follow up and it has seven parts. As you go through these parts, you're going to have, I'll go up to the five where I'm at right now, You'll have necessary missions that you need to complete, and then it will say option, optional missions, zero of one. You only need to complete one of these optional objectives to advance to the next tier. Now, we can't see what the objectives on the older missions were, but you'll see them yourself. Uh, but the rewards are the important parts. And I want to show you the uh, part two tutorial gives you your first mining vessel, and your part four gives you your first tech four destroyer. This is a huge reward. You get this for free. It'll save you a lot of this coming out, uh, starting out day one. Definitely get these rewards as quickly as possible. Now, when you finish tutorials, your next question is, what do I do next? Or maybe you'll learn some of this as you're doing the advanced tutorials, because out of all these optional miss uh, missions, the easiest one to complete time investment-wise, in my opinion, is complete an encounter. Being a new player, you have no idea what an encounter is, so I'm going to walk you through it. For pretty much all the menus, you're going to click on your character's face up here in the upper left-hand corner. We're going to go to Encounters here. We're going to go to News. And now there's an important filter here. You can filter these for combat, transports. Combat's pretty self-explanatory. Transport is hauling something from point A to point B. Uh, then you have Investigation and Mining for a different flavor of, of mission type. But I want you to look at the Transport one for the sake of completing the advanced tutorial faster. Because these are the most simplistic missions where you're going to pick up the mission... You're going to be told to pick up the item and take it to a second location. And most of it will be done through autopilot. You won't have to interact with it very much at all. It's very quick time-wise. Uh, low investment from you in terms of having to pay attention. You're not having to go into combat sites, not sure what you can and cannot complete. And ideally, the rewards for completing your first couple of tiers of the advanced tutorial will allow you to go to our next screen. Sorry, not that it fits. Go to our next screen, click, click on your character sheets, and go to Markets. Because you want to do upgrades at some point, right? So we're going to go to ships. Now I'm going to use Kaldari uh, as the example only because that's what I'm flying. So I started off in like a, a starter ship, right? Like an Ibis or something like that. And I quickly got into the Condor that I'm flying now. My next obvious purchase is going to be the Kestrel. And I can use the Kestrel short term until I get into that destroyer that I'm going to get as a reward for the advanced tutorial completion for part four. Uh, what ship you should get frigate-wise in... When you should make that transition is going to be greatly determined by your wallet, you know, your ISK, uh, in-game currency that you're earning from all these objectives. I'm currently at 437, so buying a hull for 125 is only about a quarter of my ISK on hand. It isn't too bad. Once you buy the ship, though, you have to remember to fit it up. So you come out of ships and you come into high slots, mid slots, low slots. Let's say you're not quite sure how to fit your ship up. If you click your ship and go to the fitting window... In the upper left-hand corner, there is information here for recommended fits. You can go in there and get suggestions, and that will help you know what to shop for. Last, and certainly not least, you need to be managing your skill queue. Uh, early on, a very common question, what do I train and why? For those who are going to be looking for a semi-passive ISK earning opportunity uh, so that you can log in maybe a couple times a day or even once a day just to manage it, you want to get into plantology. This allows you to do uh, planetary production, which if we go back to our character sheet again, you can find down here in the bottom right hand corner. You find a planet that has, uh, let's see if I can show you an example here. Poor and poor, obviously we want that one. Rich and rich is a really good one. Perfect is ideal. So I found one that had a perfect uh, base metal production. I put my mining extractors onto it and once every 24 hours I need to stop by, maybe refresh this. My current level in this skill allows me to pick up I think 140 or 160, I think it's 140 uh, units of the material. And so every so often I come out and pick it up. It's gathering resources without me doing anything. So I swing by every now and then and pick up the materials and sell them for more liquid isk. Pretty straightforward. Uh, back into the skills that we talked about before. Again, what should I train early? It depends what your activities are going to be. If you're going to be doing combat a good bit, you're going to get into cruising, 
Uh, electronics is important for uh, engineering skills. So engineering skills gives you capacitor. We'll click this one to show it to you. Uh, capacitor, which is your ship's energy source to use as a resource for using uh, modules, repairs, uh, prop mod, like afterburners, micro warp drive, things like that. Power grid is important for fitting modules to your ship. And how much capacitor your ship needs to warp is important in case you need to escape the sites. You'll need less capacitor so you have more time or I guess a wider window to escape if you need to. So again, engineering is very important. Uh, frigate engineering, advanced and expert. So you see these multiple tiers here. Don't focus on going deep on these early on unless you just for some reason expect you're gonna spend a lot of time specifically in a frigate. You know, keep things very light on the surface there starting off. Uh, you're gonna have weapon technology to go for. You're gonna to wanna to decide on a weapon platform between lasers, guns, missiles, drones, whatever. You'll find the skills in there. Uh, maintenance is usually for repairs and your defensive capabilities. Uh, cruising technology, you have navigation and spaceship command. You can read through here. But basically look for the skills that are more pertinent to the ship that you're flying uh, predominantly for your current contents. But that'll get you started on your first day. As always, if you have questions, put them in the comment section down below. Join us on the Discord. There's also the official Eve Echoes Discord, which is a great resource as well. Hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you all next time.